Hi everybody. Um, I've had a few of you email me and ask, how can you make your morning more productive? What are some tips and tricks that you can do to get through your day? Well, here it goes. First, I want you to get into the habit of actually waking up about 90 minutes earlier. Now, if you're one of those folks that wake up around 5 a.m., then you're already ahead of the game. But if you find that you're waking up around seven o'clock, but you're still not able to make it to work in time, then you may wanna start with the 90 minute rule that gives you more time to get things accomplished, as well as try one of these new things that I'm about to introduce to you. Number two is we need to exercise. That's right, folks, we need to learn to move our bodies. We need to get in the habit of starting off our day tackling very simple challenges. And one of that one of those challenges are do I run another mile? Do I walk one more step? But it also helps to release those wonderful endorphins that make us feel good. And in accomplishing those goals, we feel that we can accomplish more goals and be productive throughout the day. So it's a twofold. It not only helps us as far as being at a healthy weight and being good about our bodies, but it also helps us as far as positive reinforcement about being able to accomplish those things we need to accomplish next. We need to make sure that we are eating breakfast. We need to fuel our bodies. We need to break our fast with those things that are helpful to us and that are going to really be beneficial to our bodies. So we're moving our bodies, we're putting fuel into our bodies, and we're waking up our bodies a little earlier than we usually do so we have time to accomplish all that we need to accomplish. Speaking of accomplishments, you also need to goal plan. That's right, plan out your goals for the day. You wanna write down three to five things that you want to accomplish. No more than five initially, because when you get down to too many, you start to feel overwhelmed. Three to five is a great list. As you accomplish those things, make sure that you mark them off and make sure that you're able to see that you've actually crossed those things out. Make it so that when you look at that list, that there's that positive reinforcement of look at what I have accomplished. Next, what can you do? Listen to or watch motivational podcasts, music, and videos like this one. You want to make sure that you are pumping yourself up in the morning, that you are the first person that you are introducing to your morning. What does that mean? That you want to be the first person that has the opportunity to dictate your attitude. And as they say, your attitude determines your altitude. So I want you to fire yourself up in the morning and get yourself going. What are some more things you can do? You want to plan out your schedule and your itinerary. So now you know what you need to do, but now you need to know where do you need to be and how long do you need to be there? It's very simple. It's If you notice, for those of you who have assistance, it's something that you always get because it's important that you are there on time and you know how to get there so that you're not late. And last but not least, I want you to spend what I like to call mirror time. And that is looking at yourself in the mirror, stare yourself square in the eye, and remind yourself that you can do it. Remind yourself that you are the head and not the tail. Remind yourself that you are blessed and highly favored, that you can do all things through Christ Jesus. Well, I hope that that has helped you to get not only your Monday off to a great start, but to get your week off to a great start. If you have not already done so, please be sure to like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the suggestions, tips, or little tricks that we have for making sure that you are a productive person and that you are being your best self. Until next time, have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.